President Biden has released a number of executive orders recently. One in particular is focused on how to reopen schools safely. Um, we think that's important and it mirrors two points that two recommendations that we've made in our recent policy briefs. We know kids around the country are getting an enormous range of school this year. Some are in person and they have been since the beginning of the year. Some are still virtual and their districts really don't have plans to reopen anytime soon. That's making a huge difference on what kids are learning and this executive order we think helps will help us understand what's really happening. Two key points. Number one, it requires that the federal um, Department of Education and others give clear evidence-based guidance to districts and schools on how to reopen safely. To date, principals and other district leaders have been sort of making this up on the fly as they go, which pulls valuable time away from focusing on instruction, whether you're doing it virtually or in person, and, and building a strong culture that keeps kids engaged this year, this year more important than ever. The second, it requires that they, we collect and report data um, about what's actually happening for kids and the impact of COVID. Who's getting what sort of schooling experience and what are they actually learning this year? Um, this is why state assessments are so important to help us really understand which kids are learning and who's, who's falling farther behind. That data will be, will be um, subgrouped out by race, ethnicity, gender, socioeconomic status. And all that information taken together should help us better and more equitably allocate the millions of dollars in relief money that's coming in to states and districts to help mitigate the impact of COVID on kids' learning.